And now, Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill with your full seven-day forecast. Welcome back to Newswatch, folks. We are tracking the brush fire risk, and we have the latest on the Highland Fire. It has burned 60 acres since yesterday afternoon is when it was reported. This is in Piney View, which is just east of Mount Hope in the New River Gorge. If you smell smoke, that is why. Now, the rain that we are getting tonight and tomorrow is not going to help brush fire risk much other than increasing the humidity a bit. It's not going to put it out because we're only talking about maybe two or three hundredths of an inch of rain, but at least the relative humidity is high so that fire officials can better contain this fire. Now, here's the front off to the west. It's going to move through here slowly over the next 24 hours, and that's why we're going to have these occasional showers. What's up next is this low pressure near Denver, which is going to link up with some of the moisture from Raphael, and that will bring us more of an appreciable rain event, but we have to wait until later in the weekend. Our temperatures are in the upper 60s to lower 70s. The good news is we'll have a little bit of fog tonight and we need that for the moisture. I know it's not good for driving, but we need that for the moisture. Low temperature 56. So what would likely happen when the inversion develops a little bit tonight, some of that smoke could spread a little bit across the New River Valley and decrease the air quality just a bit. We have the temperatures in the 20s and 30s in the Rockies, but that cold air is going to stay bottled up there for a while. We have much needed showers. It'll be warm, it'll be humid tomorrow with a high of 69 degrees. We just talked about Raphael. It was a major hurricane a bit ago. It's still right on the cusp of a major hurricane as it moves west from Cuba, west towards Texas. But the trough I just mentioned that's bringing the storm or the snow to Denver is gonna link up and bring moisture our way late in the weekend. First front comes through with a couple of spits the next 24 hours. High pressure moves in. Lots of sunshine for fabulous Friday football. Yes, because of the time change, it's going to get chilly in the evening, but it's November. It's supposed to be in the 30s, right? Next front comes in, links up with some of the moisture from Raphael, and we are talking an appreciable rain event, which we desperately need. And behind that, we have some dry weather until the next front late in the week that promises us a cool down for about one day. <laughs> Aches and Pains forecast sponsored by ARH More for Appalachia. A little dip there towards Friday, but a bigger dip once we get into early next week. And I went ahead and did the football forecast because I'm confident it's going to be dry. Yeah, turning chilly, temperatures will drop down to 50 degrees by halftime into the upper 40s by the end of the game and we are talking late Saturday into Sunday I need a clap here half an inch of rain woohoo all right seven day forecast there we go basically we have 60s in the forecast overnight lows in the 40s you can see where there are the rain chances highest tomorrow and Sunday and early Monday and then possible late on Wednesday with a high of 60 degrees it's nice to see those rain showers, of course, since we've been having dry weather and you mentioned the fire that was spawning. But yes. also, too, even though I love the warm weather, it does make sense for it to start cooling <laughs> down. And it's nice to see that, uh, I guess, Mother Nature is following patterns it set before <laughs> and yeah. just cooling down whenever it's supposed to. Yeah, speaking of the heat, our own Christian Boatler has a story about yesterday. We came close to some state records. Not wow. here, but... Oh. <laughs> All right, well, we'll go over that. Chris, you'll have all the details, of course, later on tonight.